this Valentine's Day. Ensure that you keep it safe and wrap it up. <laughs> and I'm not talking about little Johnny downstairs. I'm talking about your finances. Now, let me put aside the horror of an American accent that I've got going on because weather near, far, wherever you are, please don't send gift cards to the scammers. Now, let's take a look at some of the romance scams some of the scams in general you need to avoid this valentine's day <laughs> good morning good afternoon good evening welcome to helpful h with your host of course presenter h did you like my intro i bet you did i made something out of absolutely nothing with that one low budget you know how it goes. How many times have I told you, Thomas, to up the budget? Some colleagues, eh? I turn shit into diamonds, I'll tell you that much. What is on this? Absolutely nothing. Today on Helpful H, we're going to be taking a look at the pesky Valentine's Day and the pesky scammers, the scamming tricksters, the tricky scammers, who take advantage of poor souls on this horrendous Valentine's Day holiday, whatever you want to call it. Love is for schmucks, and I'm telling you that... Uh, can you cut that, please? Apparently it's too much, what I'm doing. Yeah, you, it's very negative. Can and you apparently just... it, it, it seems as if I have an agenda against love. So we're going to move swiftly on to the very first scam that you need to be aware of this Valentine's Day. The first scam we're going to be looking at is the romance scam. Now granted it's not just Valentine's this romance happens, it's 365 days, it's all year long. It's like me in the bedroom, stamina, Mr. 60 Minute Man, woo, Ric Flair, who are you? Let me tell you this, if someone invades literally your your profile please do not speak to them do not entertain them they are not looking for your golden friendship why not silver is this a membership thing we got going on here mr john you need to be well aware these people are not interested in you they don't care about your looks they don't want your golden friendship as i said they're in it for the money Money, which we should have got a bigger blazer. What is this? Signs to look out for, you might ask. Well, if they pop into your DMs with absolute messages that reek of them possessing blue balls. And blue balls here, it knows no gender. It's gender neutral because scammers, they're known to use the women as well as their aliases. We're talking blue balls in the sense of horniness. I'm in your DMs. I'm talking absolute reckless. Guess what? I've asked you to marry me and we're only two weeks into this conversation. Please, please, please do not open your wallets. If the person you're talking to is in trouble, they've been arrested for hotel staff planting cocaine within their luggage or the Turkish Taliban has interrupted their pipe laying and layeth the smack down. What the hell is a Turkish Taliban? Uh, something the producer... Oh, uh... Absolutely nothing, apparently. My lips are sealed. Please do not open your wallet. If the person that you're speaking to has ended up in hospital, they've got a broken leg, and you must pay for their life-saving surgery, let them perish. <laughs> you might think that's a bit harsh, but it is not real. So guess what? Do not open your wallet. And especially remember that if someone pops into your DMs with the message that they're sexy and that they are willing to bend over in doggy for you, do not open your wallet.
Thomas, we we cut this, right? Can, can you send me this later on? I need to click this link. Thank you. You said it cut! Next up, we have something a little bit more on the... Oh, what's that word? On the Valentine side of things. Best believe you need to keep your eyes open for this one. It's the fishing websites. But in particular, the fishing websites that sell jewelry. Because I know some of you have forgotten that you need to buy a Valentine's gift for that special someone. You're scrambling, looking online for that perfect gift. What better? What's the best gift I can get on short notice? Jewelry, you might ask. But remember that not all websites are legitimate. Before you make a purchase, please remember to check the reviews of that website. Check Trustpilot because I'm sure there will be plenty more other angry folk who unfortunately lost their cash moolah to this website. And remember, if you're given a laminated identification card for your jewellery, e.g. something that looks like I made it in school for my lover, then you are in serious trouble and how much money you've wasted right now. You'll feel sorry for yourself. Or maybe not. Maybe you should get a grip of yourself because you've been duped. Duped. Be aware of these websites. And by the way, my tester, Laid, apparently. Thank you, Laid. Thank you, because well and truly, you fucked me. And yes, for clarification's sake, that is my nail in that picture. Cut, cut. No? Too, too far? And lastly, perhaps one of the strangest that I have uncovered, florists. Yes, florists are coming to scam you because the scammers genuinely are running out of ideas. But you could say it's a smart tactic from the scammers because flowers, Valentine's Day, go hand in hand. As you can see on your device's screen right now, we set up a private PayPal account so you can easily purchase as many as you'd like. It is located here and there's a link which Thomas will blur in post-production, hopefully, you scumbag. Sorry about that. Buy them for your neighbor, your friend, or even yourself. Anything will help. All proceeds will go to the State Children's Hospital. If you buy them for a co-worker, we will deliver them to the person on Valentine's Day, free of charge. With love, HR. HR. What, what an email from HR, huh? HR. At the place you work, has anyone watching this encountered such a HR that is selling flowers? Hmm? Flowers to you for money at work. This is your employment. Who've set up a private PayPal account to take money for flowers. Flowers. Now if you've missed out on purchasing flowers for that special someone, you're better off picking them from the grass outside, in the park, wherever you can, than spending your money and clicking this whatever the hell this link is. It's the intranet, apparently, right? What kind of PayPal link is that? I still don't understand, Thomas. What the hell is this? But regardless, Watch out for these phishing emails. And it, it just doesn't stop there. <laughs> We're following on from the jewelry phishing websites. Now we've got flower phishing websites. Please be aware. Because you could get a walk in the sun for only 43 24 Wow, that's incredible. A walk in the sun. I don't know what that means. But that picture, I can tell you, looks like it's been cropped straight out of my stock footage asshole, And it's not a place you want to be. But hey, remember that these scammers, they guarantee 100% by the way, guarantee quality. And also, free same delivery on all orders. I don't know if 
your delivery employees are Superman. But how are they doing that? What if everyone ordered from your website? Are they all being delivered at the same time, at the same day? We'll never know. Do not purchase from websites that are obviously fake. Please check the reviews, check that there are legitimate payment services and not just PayPal, because that is always a dodgy sign if it's just PayPal. And remember, these flowers, designed with love. If you scammers have not kept your love to a minimum, and I find out that you've glazed my flowers as if I've just visited Krispy Kreme, we've got serious problems. Forget the fact you've stolen my information. So, with that being said, I've got to wrap things up because Gossip Girl is starting in 10 minutes and for the life of me, I cannot miss it. So, remember, there's three, that's six, but there's three important questions, not questions. You can tell it's late. Thomas, for the love, get my coffee ready. <laughs> Sorry. Right, cut this especially. Be cautious. Stay vigilant. Get a grip of yourself. So I have been presenter H. All my fantastic notes have come to use, clearly. I will see you on another episode of Helpful H. When exactly? I don't know. So, get a grip of yourself. Have some patience. Okay? Is that good enough, Thomas? Uh, sure, the producer's gonna come in also, now, so... the producer wants to come in. Presenter H, signing off. And before I leave, have a wonderful Valentine's, everyone. Remember, stay safe. <laughs> Literally online, but also in real life, right? Wrap up them Johnnies. Stay safe in that regard. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. Oh, sorry about that, everyone. I hectic day and it's night time. That guy had to go and watch Gossip Girl for some reason. By the way, that's Presenter H. Yes, we share the same first name. Not, not Presenter, but H. And it's confusing. He looks a lot like me and it gives me a bad rep. He's very unhinged, we'll say. But hopefully you did learn something. Those are three scams that are floating about slightly relating to love, especially romance scams. Now he sprinkled in a few jokes, but please remember that these are serious issues. Romance scams, phishing websites, phishing emails, etc. They are a real thing and during Valentine's, perhaps when loneliness is at its height, given the fact that it's a time of love, a time of relationships, and if you are not in a relationship, you are feeling lonely. A whole host of reasons, perhaps, you might be searching online, etc. Please, be wary of very dodgy emails. Be wary of random people who pop up to you online. Facebook, emails, etc. And stay safe. That, As much as it might be hard English sometimes, you just gotta do your best, right? it will save you a great amount of pain in the long run if you just ignore, ignore everything, right? Flowers, whatever. You can have, you know, make a flower. Make make a flower origami style and you're that special someone might actually like it better than real flowers. Jewelry, go in person. But remember, in person as well, there are also scams. The jewellery itself could be fake. But that's another day, that's another story. So, hopefully you, you... Okay, let's break the fourth wall now. If you actually enjoyed this style of video, I hope you did. Uh, I plan, I want to do it again, perhaps, on another topic. Just need to figure out what, but... Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, let me know in the comments. Uh, yes, the fourth wall has been broken and you're getting me with my very slow paced talking now. I'll see you guys on the next one. Be safe this Valentine's. Be safe this whole year.
piece. And what type of romance scams am I talking about? Hmm, we got a whole playlist here. It's a plug to... Bye.